Hi, I'm Lance Corby Burkett and today I'll be teaching you about the badges of rank of officers. Starting off we have Second Lieutenant. This rank is held in the commission from the Royal Military Academy of Sandhurst. It is normally held for one to two years. During their life, their time as a Second Lieutenant, officers complete special arms training relevant to their corps. After training is complete, they are responsible for leading up to 30 soldiers in a platoon or troop, both in training and on operations. Next we have Lieutenant. The rank of lieutenant is typically held for two to three years. They normally command a platoon of, or troop of around 30 soldiers with increased responsibilities from being a second lieutenant. They also have the opportunity to gain specialised skills outside of their unit. Captain. The rank of captain is typically held for from five to ten years. Captains are normally made second in command of a subunit of up to 120 soldiers. They are key planners in the planning and decision making process with tactical responsibilities for operations on the ground as well as equipment, maintenance, logistical support and manpower. Next, Major. Typically a Major is given command of a subunit of up to 120 soldiers and officers with the responsibility for their training, welfare, administration both on camp and in operations as well as management of their equipment. Next we have Lieutenant Colonel. Lieutenant Colonel typically commands a, a unit up to uh, 650 soldiers containing four or five subunits. They are responsible for overall operational effectiveness of their unit in terms of military capability, welfare and general discipline. They are known as commanding officers. Commanding officers is, a is typically a two year appointment. Colonel. Colonels are not usually field commanders except in the Royal Army Medical Corps. Typically, they serve as staff officers between field com com commands at battalion and brigade level. It is the lowest of the staff ranks and they are principal advisors to senior officers. Next we have Brigadier. Brigadier is not considered to be a general officer rank in the Brit by the British Army, but rather a field officer rank. Brigadiers can command a brigade or be a director of, of operational capability groups such as a director of staff. Next, Major General. Major, general com Major Generals command formations of division size and the Royal Military Academy of Sandhurst and hold senior appointments in the Ministry of Defence and other headquarters. Lieutenant General. Lieutenant Generals command formations of corp size and other co commands in the UK and overseas. They also hold very senior staff appointments in the Ministry of Defence and other headquarters. General. General holds the most senior appointments such as Chief of Defence Staff, Vice Chief of Defence Staff, Chief of General Staff, Deputy Supreme Allied Commander of Europe and, Sup and Commander in Chief of the Land Forces. Field Marshal, the highest rank in the British Army since in 1736. The rank of Field Marshal has become an honorary rank with the last active officer to be promoted to the rank was in 1994. Thank you very much for watching and have a nice day. I hope you enjoy the video.